In this video, I'm going to explain the best practice when we generate the job script. In this demo, what I'm going to do, I have the table here, table 1, and I have two columns, column 1 and column 2, and I created primary key on the column 1, and of course, it is a clustered key, okay. I'm going to create a job which will reorganize the clustered index on this table on Sunday at 6 a.m. Let us say this is what the job purpose is. Okay, let's create a job. Okay, so I'm going to copy this script. This script, what it does, alter index pk table 1, which is this index, and reorganize with lob compaction. Okay, so I'm going to reorganize this index. Okay, let's copy this script and paste it here. Okay. So this is all this job does, but the important point is, let's schedule this job on Sunday at 6 a.m. Okay, just observe this carefully. We are going to schedule this job on Sunday at 6 a.m. Okay, and it has got just one step, which uh, reorganize the index. Okay, so I created the job. So it's going to run every week on Sunday at 6 a.m. Okay. Now, I'm going to create another job which is going to reorganize the same index on Saturday morning 6 a.m. Okay. Let us say this is my, uh, you know, this is, this is a requirement I have. And I need to reorganize the same index on Saturday at 6 a.m. every week. Okay, so instead of creating the new job and entering all those details, what I can do, I can script out this job so this is the job name. Okay, so I just change the job name and I will execute it. Okay, fine. The job has been created. So now we got two jobs. Two jobs does the same thing, reorganize the index, but this one will do it on Sunday and this one will do it on Saturday. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and, ch and change the, okay, I'm not going to change the, the step script. I'm going to change the schedule so which has the Sunday 6 a.m. Okay, because we copied the existing job, it has got 6 a.m. So I'm going to change this step to run it on Saturday because that's the purpose of this job.
So this is the job name. I'm modifying reorganize index on Saturday job. Okay, this has got Saturday schedule. Okay. Now this runs every Saturday at six, and this runs every Sunday at six. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at this job again. See, here it has changed from Sunday to Saturday. Why? The reason is when we copied the job, when we script out this job and created this job, we copied the the scheduler schedule ID as well. Basically, these two jobs are sharing the same schedule. You can take a look at the schedule ID. When we created, it created twelve. Here, same twelve. So both jobs are using same schedule. If you change here, then it this job will get affected. If you change here the schedule, then this job will get affected. Essentially, both jobs will run at the same time. Okay. So this is the problem. Uh, you know, generally uh, we have when we copy the scripts. So in order to avoid that. Uh, if you know that problem, I mean, I mean, I discovered that today. Until then, I mean, I didn't know that. So, how we can do when we script out and create new job using that script, we have to remove the schedules and create a new schedule. That way, we can we can create a new schedule and attach that schedule record to this job. For example, I'm, uh, which job I'm modifying? Okay, Saturday job. Okay, so I I just deleted the existing schedule. Then I'll create the new one. Okay, so when I created the new schedule, then the earlier one, the original one, has schedule ID twelve, and this one has schedule ID thirteen. So now you can modify this schedule and will not affect this this job. Okay, so when you are scripting out the job, make sure. This GUID. You you don't use this GUID. Otherwise, you are going to use the existing GUID, existing schedule. Okay. So, for example, I'm here. Let us say I'm creating another job. Uh, I wanted to reorganize the index on Monday morning, 6 a.m. Okay. I just created the script from this job. Okay. I will say reorganize index on Monday. Okay, and come down and remove this schedule ID and execute the job. So now I created another job using this job script. Okay, so now I have Monday job. If you Of course, the job step will have the same thing. Reorganize the index, but if you look at the schedule, now it now it has got fourteen. Okay, this job has fourteen, and this job has twelve, and Saturday job has thirteen. Okay, the point is when you delete the GUID, then it will create a new GUID, new schedule for the job when you uh, create a job from an existing script. Okay.